Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Trying something new. Again, I apologize for that giant sun glow behind me. Um, actually, now it is completely behind me, so can't really do nothing about that. Uh, by something new, I mean I found a new image for my background to be on days like this, I can just, uh, have my audio on just a photo. I have been meaning to do that again, I just haven't. So I'm going to pull up my insta feed right now, uh, for myself, and read I've been meaning to read uh, my posts that I have made. Um, so yeah, now you get the, the feels of sunrise, golden, power, Archangel Michael comes to mind when I see this image. For some reason, I think of him w with gold, the color gold, and I don't know why. Uh, might be his color, I don't know. I have yet to research that further. So, okay, is it gonna, is Insta gonna load? Insta's not loading. Let me do a different, oh wait, there it goes. Just being very slow. Um, I have arc in the background, but that's why. Um, let me scroll down here. Well, I could go into this stupid, uh, since this is the end in. No, I'm not actually going to get into that. So my Insta, if you want to read that, uh, the one I'm looking for is, can I just, no, I can't do that. That's my fault for dragging this out. <laughs> and right now it's not loading. Okay, we are getting closer. Okay, can I... I'm not entirely sure if this is out of... No, that's more drama that I don't really want to get into. Here. Here it is. And it only took me a minute to find it. Yay. This was written on 11-10-2019. What are you given attention to? And... Then I just listed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Become inner peace. I'll say that again. Uh, I'll say that again. Become inner peace. Leave the toxic people behind. Go well you are supported. Leave well you are hated on. Leave the pain become better. Become strong in your light. Remember your soul. Listen to the whispers of your soul. 
Remember what you are. Remember your magic. Never be afraid. Stand out. Shine. Rise to five D. Soar to nine D. Eleven, eleven, eleven. Never forgive or love demonic thinking people. Leave the toxic people. Do not love them. Do not engage with them. Stay with who supports you. You are your own creator. You are your own god or goddess. Remember the ways of nine D and of five D and anything in between. This earth has made you forget everything because you came to three D world and you was reborn as a human to forget everything before. And it is your job to wake up and say, "Hey, I do not agree with certain things, or I do." Find out your likes and your dislikes. What do you love? What is your passion? What do you hate to see? What grosses you out? Avoid the toxic. Energies avoid the toxic places, people, whatever that is. It is your job to level up in this life. Meaning, think of it like a video game. I actually did watch a, a YouTuber who spoke about this, except this is not my take. So, you're playing a video game without you. Knowing that you put on the VR headset, so you put on the VR headset, you load into Earth, and you now begin a new life. You are now, um, at first. Well, when do you actually become a well? For me, it was ten years old. That's when I started to become aware of my thinking, aware of the world around me. However, I have been hearing this age could be six. It could be a toddler. I maybe I don't really know. It's I've heard people are getting younger, and they are now more aware. But for me, it was age ten. I think I, I heard someone else was like eight, six years old. I don't really remember. I personally never met anyone who was a six year old who was really conscious. But for me, it was around age ten. But more so when I was around, I believe it was age. Fifteen, sixteen, so teenager years. I was waking up. My journey began around that time. However, I was already starting to wake up, and I was around the age of ten. So I'm just gonna go with that. You're you're ten year old, and you're now waking up. So. What do you, what do you find yourself gravitating towards? What are your hobbies? What is your interest? What is your passion? For me, at that time, I was really into learning about magic. I kind of hid it because I was made to believe that. Magic was evil. Therefore, I hid it and didn't really pay attention to this passion until many years later. But the seed was there. I then saw it 
balloon. So at, at that time, I was beginning to notice I was being picked on a lot. Uh, school bullies, uh, not so much physical abuse. It was mental abuse and um, uh, things of that nature. Not so much the physical it's mental and spiritual abuse is what I was dealing with. Then I was beginning to question, okay, why is this happening to me? What did I do to make these people irritate? Why did I make these people get upset at me? What did I do? Turns out, I did nothing wrong. It was my aura that bugged them. They saw something in me that they were afraid of. It could have been my looks. It could have been the power that I possess deep down. But this is the seed that was growing, and I was starting to notice this at the age of 10. So, thinking back to the video game analogy, you start a new character, you are beginning to learn how to play. We all go through the stage one, tutorial. Shut up, you dang tutorial! I know how to play! And then, you know, then you get further in, and then you stumble, you die a lot, or who knows, maybe you're, you are a master at this game already, and a whiz, and never die. So you glitz through, you you speed through, your speedster, I, d I don't know, it's, it's, you're, um, and you win. Is the game more fun when you don't, n let me back up, is the game fun when you wreck everything super easily? Or is the game better when you progress properly? I'm thinking back to Zelda, okay, the Ocarina of Time, uh, so, um, what's the other one? Well, for me, it was Ocarina of Time, not so much Mori's Mask, but I was playing both. But for some reason, Ocarina of Time stuck in my mind, so I'm I'm going through, and eventually I did get stuck. I was at the point where I was supposed to go to, unless I'm mixing these two games up. No, I think that was ma the Mori's Mask, I think. Anyways, whatever game this is, I don't know, is Zelda, but I don't know what title. So I'm at uh, the lake, and I keep speaking to this Zora, but I don't know where to go. And I'm, I'm just bewildered, confused, and, you know, looking back at it, I liked the fact that I was confused and eventually figured it out, rather than looking up a guide and getting the answer easy. So for me, I like hard. I like a challenge. I like to push myself rather than creative mode in Minecraft or creative mode in Ark, for instance. However, on Ark, I love building. Give me that creative mode. And then let me just kill my character, restart as a level 1 survivor to tame everything. Because I, I don't like force taming. So, yeah. Okay, so you're starting to... Ba backing up, going back to the video game. So you're starting to figure out how to play the game. You are now becoming a whale of this VR game that you put yourself in, but completely forgot you were in that VR game. 
So, a couple of fa fast forward a, a few years, and you're still quest. You are still asking the same question: Why am I here? Why are these people hating on me? What makes me different? Why do I feel like an alien? Why do I feel the way I feel? It could be me. It could be anything for you. For me, it was those questions. Then fast forward a few more years. Then things start to pick up. So one day you meet a person who tells you something, and that something clicks. Hey, you know what? Maybe I was had a past life and met these stories before, or something. Uh, for for me, it was well. I read actually. I I don't know how I found this book. It just happened. I think it was through. No, no. I was gonna say it was through this TV show, but that happened years later, so it wasn't from that. So one day I wound up finding out about pantheons and was going through a a list, eventually stumbling across a name, which led me to a book. But at this time, it was over my head. And then I I kind of just forgot about this book. And then I meet a person who brought me back to that book. And then I started to understand better. I dug into the book again. Things started to make more sense. So this person helped me level up. So he was starting to say things like. You know, all these people follow other people, following the leader, monkey see, monkey do, and I'm like, you know what? I am starting to notice that they love drama, they love chaos, they it's always follow the the news, follow whatever, and even though it's toxic, like. All that hate, all that rap, all that drama, and it's just you know what you're you're starting to make sense. I am now seeing a picture that hardly anyone gets to see. So then he starts to uh, take me under his wing. I starting to uh, think more from myself, not so much from his words, because I found out later he was making stuff up. And I didn't like how he was approaching certain topics or what have you. So by this point, I am starting to wake up even more, listening to the inner voice of my soul, not so much the outside forces, even though it pushed me into the right direction. So fast forward again. I meet a different person, and I get this feeling that I need to speak to him. And we get to talking. He told me to read all these Al Alistair Crowley books, and I did. And then I something happened. It's something magical. I woke. I leveled up again, and then I didn't need this other person. Anymore, something happened which made me block him, and we went our separate ways. Then, fast forward again, I meet someone new who told me what I already kinda knew, but wasn't one hundred percent certain. For for instance, I was reading about the blue light. Ray people, the one thousand light workers, and they'll miss and they'll cause. And uh, this this person started uh, talking to me about it, and uh, talking to me about 
that mission, and I'm like, you know what? Somehow, I knew that mission before I was aware of it. I felt that deep desire to find other people who are aligning themselves to me, listening to my wisdom, my light, and I help them, they help me, and that's the, the mission I am doing, the great work that I am doing. I felt this need to uh, teach others, to inspire others at years before, but then I just got confirmed. That is why you felt it. This is why you're doing it. This is what is going on. Confirmed. So, now that that roadmap is done, what have you noticed looking back in your life? Why did you meet this person? For me, going back to that video game, uh... It really f resembles, like, Ocarina of Time, Zelda, like, that's my first major Zelda game besides, uh, Wind Waker, um, but it was more so about Ocarina of Time, I think, uh, anyways, the, the theme is, okay, you, you go on a quest, but you meet people who point you in the right direction, NPCs. So I was on my journey. I meet people who guided me and the way I needed to go. Even though at that time I was in the dark, I was lost, I was confused, and now looking back, I know exactly why it happened, why I met these people. They helped me level up. And now, I can tell all this wisdom, all these life lessons, into the world in hopes of you will learn something. You will take something from my blogs. Whatever it is, I... I for, for some, it is the to be inspired by me. The power that I give off. You see something in me which helps you somehow. <laughs> it, it helps you. I, I don't know how. I'm, I'm not in your mind. But it helps you. And I'm that person now, the NPC, to all these other people, guiding them in hopes of they too will level up. And that is why I do what I do. Inspire, enlighten others, help others. Reminding you, planting the seed. And I have made so many posts about that one subject. Inspire, enlighten, to help. To let you reclaim your own power, your own light, your own magic. I heal through my words and I heal you. I empower you. I inspire you. I help you. Whatever, however, that is uh, up to you, but somehow I am doing it. I am being the NPC, helping others to get to the next di destination. Not direction, but yes, that too. Until... We meet again. 
pretty sure Archangel Michael is just flowing through me and my his energy flowing through me and I speak all these messages because of that. Oh wait, that is my mission. So yes, light angels doing the work, doing the great mission, etc, etc, etc. If you have not played the old Zelda game, do it. And maybe you too will see what I see in a bit. Um, yeah. Until we meet again.